Screw it, let's do it. So, the latest issue that needs to be pressed. And it's something that's been repeated a lot on Twitter and on Facebook and even on the national news websites. Should Lewis Hamilton, Britain's most successful racing driver ever, be knighted? And the reason that a lot of people are saying that he should be is because there are sports people out there that have been knighted for less. So what is a knighthood? It's part of the honours system that we've got in the UK. So if applied, Lewis Hamilton will become Lewis Hamilton, MBE, KBE. Now an MBE is a member of the British Empire, prize internally. Then you have OBE, which is officer, CBE, which is commander, and then KBE, which is knight. And there is one above that, but I think it's for people that have some sort of tier 5 level of transcending stuff or something. I, I, I've got no idea how it really works. And I should point out now that if you are a man, you become a knight. And if you're a woman, you become a dame. So Dame Helen Mirren, Dame Judy Dench, Dame Jessica Ennis, and so on. But what do you actually have to do to get on your knees and get Queen Lizzie to dab a sword on your shoulders? And the criteria is usually exceptional devotion to a particular cause or outstanding achievement in your field of work. Sport, in this case. I mean, you can turn these honours down, and some have in the past. David Bowie was offered a knighthood twice but rejected it. Bernie Eccleston was allegedly offered a knighthood and turned it down as well. And Keith Richards also turned down a knighthood. And John Cleese hilariously turned down a CBE when he said having a lemur at a Swiss zoo named after him was a bigger honour. Now currently in British motorsport there are three living knights. Sir Jackie Stewart who received his knighthood in 2001 for services to motorsport but more for the road safety stuff. Sir Frank Williams got his in 2000 for services to motorsport and Sir Patrick Head got his in 2015 for services to motorsport. Sterling Moss was also knighted but he died earlier this year. In addition all of the living British world champions have an honour of some sort. Jensen Button is an MBE. Damon Hill is an OBE, Nigel Mansell a CBE, and Jackie up at the top with a KBE, making him Sir Jackie Stewart. Murray Walker is also an OBE, and there are calls for him to be knighted almost on a yearly basis. But maybe he was already offered one but declined it. I mean, that does sound like Murray, to be fair. And virtually everybody in motorsport circles is saying yes. Yes to Sir Lewis Hamilton. Seven world titles and being the winningest F1 driver in history. But there are critics, and they all seem to have the same argument. He lives in Monaco and doesn't pay any tax. He dodged the tax on his private jet. And he should get it when he's retired. The tax thing gets debunked as soon as it's posted on Twitter, because HMRC records from the previous tax year show Lewis to be in the top 5,000 people in the UK currently paying tax because he's taxed per his earnings paid to him by the Mercedes Formula 1 team. Yes, it's a German registered team for FIA purposes, but the company itself is registered in the UK, based in the UK, and therefore pays UK tax. Lewis is paid by that company, and as such, pays the income tax, pays you earn a national insurance out of all of that. Any work he does in the UK is subject to UK tax, so he just doesn't pay any taxes directly to the Principality of Monaco. But if we're using the same logic, Michael Schumacher must have defrauded the German treasury out of millions of euros in his time too by living in Switzerland. And it wasn't just Lewis on the Panama Papers either. The royal family was on them. So was Dave Cameron. Not the iRacing guy Dave Cameron, I mean former Prime Minister Dave Cameron. But as far as British drivers, Jackie Stewart, Damon Hill, Jensen Button, David Coulthard and more have had homes in low tax or tax free areas. I mean, Mansell is totally unapologetic about living on the Isle of Man in Jersey, and nobody seems to kick up a fuss about them. But at the same time, you've got Sir Richard Branson, Sir Sean Connery, Sir Cliff Richard. And what have they all got in common? Yes, they were all knighted. But what else do they have in common? Well, Richard Branson has his private island in the Caribbean. Sean Connery loved Scotland so much he lived in Barbados. And Cliff Richard also lives in Barbados although that home is apparently up for sale. Now, Barbados isn't a total true tax haven like, say, Switzerland or Monaco. It's still very low tax. They were knighted. They live in low tax areas. But then there's the whole it should be when he retires mentality. 
Well, long distance runner Mo Farah, cyclist Chris Hoy and Bradley Wiggins, tennis player Andy Murray, and football manager Alex Ferguson were all still active in their fields when they were knighted. So there is a precedent. He doesn't have to retire. And it could be argued that Murray got his for much less than what Lewis would be getting his for. Andy Murray wins a gold medal at the Olympics on one grand slam and he gets knighted. And then you've got Ed Woodward, who got his because he was the manager of the England team that won the 2003 Rugby World Cup. Surely it should have been Johnny Wilkinson that got the knighthood. Sir Johnny. But then there's the obligatory bit that I need to say. There was Jimmy Savile. There was Sir Jimmy Savile. If you don't know who he is, Google is your friend, but I recommend deleting your history afterwards. And whether you are a fan of him or you utterly despise him, there is no denying that Lewis Hamilton is among the most successful sports people that Britain has ever produced. Up there with Chris Hoy and Steve Redgrave, and probably above them still in terms of the winning. He's also the most famous current sports person that we have. When I was a kid, it was David Beckham. Now the face of British sport is Lewis Hamilton. He's broken down barriers being the first BAME man to race full time in Formula One. He's the first to win a race, the first to get a championship, and then went on to equal Michael Schumacher's championship record, and then went on to win more races still than the Michael. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds like outstanding performance in a field of work and a major contribution to the country at an international level to me. Still I rise? More like a rise. Sir Lewis Hamilton. So what do you think? Should he or shouldn't he be knighted? Has he done enough? to be knighted? I I would say yes in this. So if you think I've made some good points, give the video one of these. If you want to see more, hit subscribe so you get all the latest from this talking head. Massive thanks as always go out to the patrons of this channel on Patreon. I will be putting their names up on the screen right now. And if you wish to join them or just join in the social media stuff, then everything you need in the description box for you. So until next time, I've been Aiden Millward. Have a great day wherever you are in the world. I'll see you all again very soon for another video. So until then, Bye-bye.